Hello YouTube. I've been struggling between what which one of these two lenses I'm gonna carry in my to-go bag. They're both 24 to 70s. One's an F4 and one's a F2.8. I prefer the 2.8, but it's like a pound heavier and it's a lot bigger. This is the Tamron 24 to 70 F2.8. This is the Canon 24 to 70 f4 so this one's got extra stop light which comes in handy big time i mean i love this lens but it's like i mean it's two pounds it's a, it's over two pounds this is just a little bit over a pound i mean you can totally feel the difference especially when it's on your camera and you know i'm trying to lighten the load up i got this big old pack i carry with me and it's you know it's full it's pretty heavy so every pound matters you know I've been saying that about my gut too I'm trying to lose a little weight with my gut but I don't know which one to I prefer this Canon F4 lens because it's smaller and lighter but it's only an F4 I mean it's razor sharp corner to corner at F5.6 it's perfect at F8 this one's a little soft at, in the corners at f2.8, but you stop it down to 5.6, and it's perfect. I mean, corner to corner, it's sharp, razor sharp. And I'm shooting, I'm using both of these mainly for landscapes, so I'm usually at f5.6 or f8 anyways. But occasionally I like to shoot flowers and, you know, other stuff at wider apertures, and this is like, perfect the bokeh the background fall off is beautiful the colors i actually like the colors a little bit with this lens too but in a realistic world this one's the easier one to carry and to shoot with except it's an f4 so my dilemma which one do i carry i prefer this one for the 2.8 aperture Especially when I'm shooting in dark spots, and which I normally do a lot. But I've been using this one for the last couple of weeks, and there's been a couple of times I wish I had the 2.8. But one cool thing about this F4 lens is it's got a macro mode on it. To where you can zoom it out to 70 millimeters, press this button... You turn it a little bit more and you can focus on something that close to the front of the lens and it's like killer little macro lens not true macro but nobody would ever really know the difference you know shooting close-ups and stuff i mean this is pretty awesome and i lost the lens hood the other day so i had to order another lens hood i looked everywhere i must have dropped it out in the woods somewhere but which one should I keep?